You know, guys, uh, welcome to John's Pantry and welcome to the courgette chutney recipe. It's 70 year old this and it comes out of my favourite book and it's better than the Mrs. Beaton's household management. But this is your ingredients. You're looking for six or seven courgettes. You're looking for a couple of eating apples, a Bramley cooking apple, salt and pepper, ginger, some chilies, some garlic. You want some sugar, some vinegar and sultanas this is the spices a cinnamon stick some cardamom cloves the uh, cardamom pods um some star anise cloves and a tablespoon of coriander and this all goes in and it gives a lovely flavor and um, what you need to do with all the veg is grate the cucumber on a very thick grater and um, this all break it down for you but once you've done that you need to just put it into a colander because there's a lot of liquid in a courgette you would believe how much liquids in a courgette put it into a, a colander and then you need to drain it off and um, i'm going to show you a quick way of how to do that once it's all in the colander grate it all down then you need to put some salt on it now for six or seven courgettes i probably use um one and a half tablespoons of salt uh, i'll just sprinkle it over and then i'll mix it in and then i'm going to leave that over a pan just a cold pan just to catch the, the liquid and that will drain quite a lot of the water at the end you'll see how much water comes out of courgettes and then it's just basically um i'm going to start chopping stuff uh, you need to chop the onions and you're looking not to get it as fine as the, the grated courgette but you need them fairly fine and um, chop all your onions up there's three onions there uh, once all the onions are chopped up then you need to start uh, chop the chilies and then we're going to grate on a fine very fine grater um, the garlic and the ginger doesn't take long put radio 2 on make a cup of tea and just crack on this is a joy of cooking and um, I'm chopping up the chilies I had four chilies on the board but I decided at the end just to use three because I'm not looking for heat I'm just looking for the flavor and I think if I put four in it would make it a little bit too hot um, because this is for a Sunday afternoon with a bit of cheese or um, a bit of ham. So we're not looking for spice. You know, I've got the, the, the microfine uh, grater and I'm just grating the garlic. You can use a garlic press, but just make sure you get it all out of the garlic press, which is quite difficult. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to do the same with the, with the ginger. And then start on to the, the apples. That's a family cooking apple. That will break down, so you won't actually feel it, but it will give a nice texture to the chutney. It will help it to thicken. Um, the two cooking apples that I've used, they will still hold the shape when you, when you come to put it into the jar. And that will give you some texture. That's the cooking apple. And I'll just do exactly the same. There's two cooking apples. Um, and like I say, they'll hold the texture. That will give you a nice mouthfeel in there from the chutney. So I'll, I'll do both of those uh, red apples. And then the whole lot needs to go into a big pan. There we go, that's all the apple and the onions and such like. There's the sultanas going in. There's a good cup full of sultanas in there. You can use currants. That's fine. But now the salt, just half a tablespoon. Just because you've got a tablespoon and a half with the courgette. And a lot of that lingers with the courgette. It doesn't all come out with the liquid. A tablespoon of black pepper. And then we'll go ahead and put the, the spices in that I mentioned before. So you've, you've got a, a cinnamon stick you've got the star anise i'll put three of them in there um the 
cardamom pods they weren't in the original recipe just because the original recipe is 70 year old so I added them because I just like the flavour and the, 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 the hint of spice that they give and coriander seed a tablespoon of that and the original recipe is coriander powder but I prefer the seed it gives you something to chew on when you're eating it now this is half an hour after I put the salt on the courgettes and now I'm trying to squeeze it out as much as I can because I want to remove as much liquid as I can because it reduces the cooking time there we go that's how much liquid I've got out of six or seven courgettes it just goes to show that salting does work um, put the courgettes into the pan on top of everything else and then we're looking for liquid and now this is going to sound strange but part of the liquid is sugar as once the sugar dissolves it becomes liquid so we don't need that much liquid because there will be so much more liquid that comes out of those courgettes as well so we're looking at a cider vinegar don't use the brown malt vinegar or the um, the, the cheap uh, non-distilled vinegar it's it's just not worth it it ruins the end product and um, i'm using cider vinegar it's just cheap as chips i think that bottle cost me about a pound if that um, i only need a cup and a half so a cup and a half of the vinegar needs to go in luckily enough there was just a cup and a half left in my bottle <laughs> didn't have to open a second one um, and then you need exactly the same again with white sugar I'm using white sugar because I like to leave the color as natural as possible if you use brown sugar when the, when it's in the jar you lose the color and the distinction of the courgette so it all becomes like a like a very dark brown mush but when you put it into the jar with just white sugar you can actually distinguish that it is courgettes once it's all in the pan I'm going to put it on a quite a high heat not full heat quite a high heat so it's going to take 10 minutes for it to come to the boil um, and that's what I'm looking to do I'm looking to bring it to the boil and um, once it boils I'm looking to simmer it for an hour and a half there's a way of testing to see if it actually is cooked properly but we'll come to that in a second when we come to that part of the video um, once it's boiled simmered um, once it's come to the boil I'm going to turn it down to half speed half heat um, number five on my cooker and then I'm going to leave it for an hour and a half every 10 minutes I'll give it a stir this is it after the hour and a half now when I'm stirring it you'll notice that you can see the bottom of the pan when I draw a trail over the pan there that's what you're looking for you're left with a trail that's it cooked so get your four jam jars or five jam jars I could have done with five get some grease proof paper ready to go over the top of them because otherwise the chutney will react with the lids and then I just fill the the, the jars um, while it's still red hot these jars are being sterilized by the way um, and then I put the grease proof on and then put the lids on needs to go into a cupboard for at least two months just leave it there two months later you will thank me for this recipe cheers